for? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to be comparing this Paragon pet to this Paragon pet. That's right. Two Paragon pets came out today. By the way, you can click on that one to drop the helmet, and you can click there to let some fire out. And we will be comparing the two to see which one's better. The differences are very, very not clear. So let's get into the video. It ain't my fault. The first thing you should know about these two pets is where to buy them, I guess. So shops, Mart's shop, pets could not be easier. There is a bank pet. Make sure you don't accidentally buy the bank pet. Uh, but if you do want the bank pet version of the Paragon pet, uh, that is also a thing. So the difference between these two is this one that is currently equipped is rare. This one is seasonal. So... If you want the rare one, if you want to get the rare, the thing that won't come back, then buy this one. But I will also show you an argument on why you might want to buy the seasonal one. I would recommend getting both, or, or buying this rare one and selling it back, and then buying the other one. So let's go into the quest of all these pets. Let's do the season one first because I feel like this one's underappreciated and I thought this was a battle pet when I saw it in the uh, shop. Yeah, this is not a battle pet. If you click on the pet, a quest window will pop up with a dual proto saber dagger. So these are the blades that the pet is holding. Uh, you can see them right in his hands there. I don't really need to show it on my character. They look about the same except you hold them the same uh, direction for both those. So that's the weapon he drops. Or not drop that, you get them from the quest. So this, it looks like this quest takes a long time to do with 20, 20, 20 for kills for 50 tokens. It does not. I'll show you how to do the quest in a second. And you also have a 20 and a 10 for 20 tokens. So you have a 20 token quest and a 50 token quest. This is uh, very normal for these Legion sort of uh, farming pets. To do the quest, what you want to do is slash join under world and we're going to do a private one just so there's no one else in the room all right once you're here at underworld you want to follow my character on screen actually i don't even have a character i just have the pet equipped because i feel like this is a pet review video so i might as well just only show the pets and not my character but you can still see the shadow for my character uh that is interesting i wish you could turn that off that'd be cool if you could turn that off all right so once you're in this room this is the room where you farm for both the 50 and 20 Legion token quests. Now, if you want to get the sword, uh, this quest, you need Makai Claws, 15 of them. And that is just in this room from these Dark Makai. Uh, they only have 1k health. Really easy mobs. Uh, these ones, not as easy. I mean, one, one of them has 6.8k and then there's two of them with uh, 1700 health. Very easy farm. I'd recommend doing this farm with uh, multiple people. Probably going into a public room and not a private one like I am. Uh, but as you can see there, you farm in this room. Oh, a Blade of Pain. That, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, that's a drop from one of the monsters in this room. So if you farm in this room, and the animations with no armor or anything on looks kind of funny. Um, and that will get you the quest completed. I'll be back once the quests are completed. Alright, we have the quest complete, finally. Alright, so it takes a little bit longer than in a room by yourself than it does in a room with other people. So I'd highly recommend farming this in a room with other people. So you can see we finished the quest for 50 tokens, but we did not finish the quest for 20 tokens. We only actually have 1 out of 10, so that's a little bit of an RNG uh, drop on that blade. But we do have this quest complete, and it does not overstack. That is my main uh, like gripe about these both these paragons, neither of them overstack on their quests. So as soon as you complete that quest, you need to turn it in or else you're farming uh, for no reason. So we have the 50 tokens and that happened pretty quickly. Uh, it didn't take that long and you might see the 20, 20, 20 and think that, oh, hey, that's going to take me at least uh, 20 kills or 20 uh, room wipes, like clearing the room 20 times. It might take at least that, but you can get more than one drop on a kill you get multiple drops so see uh we have one one and then two and the third one isn't even dead so one of those guys dropped two of a certain drop and that happens pretty often 
uh, dropping two of a certain drop when they die. Uh, so you can see that it, it actually goes up a lot faster than you would think it would go up. And I'd like to point that out about the quest, because some people might uh, think that you would actually have to kill uh, 60 different monsters to finish that quest. So that is the first pet. I really like this pet, and it's really fun to farm uh, with a full room of people. So I'd recommend if you and a friend want to get the pet, it, you could probably do this really quickly. If you had like a stone crusher, buffing a blaze binder, or something like that, like this quest would be completed very quickly. So let's move on to the second one, the rare pet. So this one we actually knew was coming out, and it's really awesome. I don't regret buying this, but I'm probably gonna sell it. Uh, and I'll just because the other one's so much better. And I think I'm gonna use the one I showed you in the last clip, the seasonal pet for farming in the future over Bright Paragon even. So this one is really cool, and I'll show you how to do the quest. So to do the quest, you want to slash join Lakin. Now, this quests are very similar to the other one. Uh, once you're here, uh, you'll have a bunch of items pop up on your screen if you were doing what I was doing. But just say, tell me again. I think you might have to complete the quest in this area to unlock this. Uh, but you want to go to the lab. So you might have to do the quest in the area. I don't know about that uh, because I've finished them before. It'll put a temporary armor on your character too, which kind of sucks. Especially if you're doing a video. There we go. Okay, so once you're in the lab, uh, just walk into this room. Oh, we're in a public one by accident. All right. But in this room, all you do is farm this room and the room next to it. So these three mobs in this room are the three drops that you need from the quest. I guess I should probably show you the quest, right? Well, I already explained how to do the quest, but here are the quests. They're very similar to the first pet I showed. 10-10 uh, for 20 tokens. And 5-10-10. Uh, so this might look like it's a bit faster than the other one. Uh, just uh, if you're looking at the numbers, but these only drop one at a time. Uh, and it seems like, I don't know, and there's two rooms right next to each other, so you can in the room swap to farm faster. But I feel like the drop rate on them isn't 100% or something like that. I don't know. I, it just doesn't feel as quick as the first pet to me, uh, but that might just be my personal perception of the quest. Yeah, this one is probably faster if you were to time it. But it's not a personal preference on which one you would like to do more. I would go and buy the rare one, the one I'm using right now, if I only had 2k ACs to spend. But if you have 4k ACs, or more than 2k ACs, uh, so you can so buy one and then sell it back. I would buy the rare one, uh, sell it back so it's in your buyback shop, and then buy the uh, seasonal one and use that at the farm. If it was me and I only had a, around 2k because uh, when you sell back a pet you won't get your full 2k acs back uh, i think it takes like 10 percent of the acs or something like that so make sure you have more than 2k acs if you're going to do that uh, make sure you have like 2k 2.5k or 3k acs before you do something like that uh, but that's what i would do if i only had to if i only had enough for one pet uh, so it's in your buyback shop so you could buy back this pet at any point if you want it and there are uh, these pets are subject to change now, they say they're probably going to change them on Monday if they do change them. That's what it says on the side notes. So, we might see changes to these pets on Monday. And I will cover the changes on my channel when I get back. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm probably gone away from my house at the moment. So, when I get back, if there are any significant changes to the pets, I will cover those as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something, leave a like. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Oh, there I go, ending the video too early. I forgot I was editing the video, and sorry if you already clicked off the video, you might have, but you're like, hey, <laughs> what about that last quest for the Proto Slasher? Uh, so we accept that, and to do this quest, you want to slash join Envy. Now, once you get to this map, uh, just walk in here. Uh, yeah, I probably, sh I'm pretty sure you don't have to do the quest. Uh, these Legion Defectors drop the drops. Now, I haven't got this blade yet, uh, but it is a matching blade for the set, the new package. Uh, I think it was supposed to be in the package, but they put it in this pet instead. And these guys actually do quite a bit of damage. So these guys are drop to drop. Uh, you need 15 kills on them, and that will get you the blade drop. It's not 100%, I think it's like a 5% drop. And it does match with the package here, the blue armor. And that blue set for $10 uh, plus on the package. So if you want to get the blade, that is there and part of the quest. 
I think it's better if I don't show the blade in the video because then if you buy the pet you get a surprise when you see what the blade looks like if you haven't already had it spoiled for you. Thank you guys for watching the video again and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.